This video is gonna show some of the interface and workflow enhancements in GibbsCam 14. Let's go ahead and just jump right in. I wanna use this progressive die as an example, but out of this, I only wanna use that plate right there. So I'm gonna throw the rest of this stuff in the body bag. We can see right away that it's changed. Uh, the background's lighter. We now have the ability to set a background color. So we can make it really whatever we want and it'll match whatever the, the color of the parts will match whatever they are on the screen. The other thing I wanted to point out here that's pretty cool is we can move these tabs to the bottom and we can also add tabs using this too. But let's go ahead and move these back up at the top. I wanna to show you this little icon right here. This is new. Uh, some of these um, windows have this. I'll go over some of the ones that do in a second. When we press this, it actually makes this window dockable. But let's say we want to dock it over here and make it a lot smaller because I want to see what I'm doing. There we go. It's docked over there. So now when I reopen it, it's going to pop up right where it was. This is great. So let's talk about the other ones can do this. Work group's another one. What if we do that with this? Now we want to dock in the same place. We have a couple options. We can actually stack them in that same position. And actually coordinate systems is another one. Oh, look, I already docked that one. So we can go ahead and make this dockable and stack that too. Another thing we can do is we can actually make tabs here. So you can see just like before when I showed you the tabs down at the bottom, I'm gonna right mouse button click and go ahead and move those to the top. There's my body bag, my coordinate system, my work group, and I can close each one out respectively. Next, I wanted to talk about geometry selection, especially holes and how much faster that is in GibbsCamp 14. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn on my coordinate system. Here again, you can see right away something's changed. We put in a Z positive arrow now um, instead of just the positive sign. I think it helps a lot with visualization. Now what I wanna do to machine this is I wanna move my um, world coordinate system to the bottom center of the plate. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is, uh, we've all done this before, let me make sure my select surface is on and we're going to align face to CS. This is great, but it's upside down, right? So at this point, we would have to do a flip or something like that. Now in GibbsCam 14, all we have to do is repeat the process and it orients it in the right direction. I use this a lot, especially when I'm positioning stuff on vices and things like that. Let's move on to geometry selection. I wanna select bunches of these holes, especially ones that are the same. The first thing I want to do is I'm going to just select this solid and I'm going to run automatic feature recognition. That's AFR right here. And again, that's in features and hole manager. And then I'm going to do what's called auto group these together. So what it does is it automatically creates all the holes as you see on your screen and it groups them in the same direction and size into their own little groups. So hole Hole manager, huge savings of time right there. This has actually been in Gibbs Cam for a really long time. If you have any questions, reach out to your reseller. would be more than happy to show you. So let me close this out. That's cool alone, but let me show you what you can do now. So once we have that, and let's say I want to go ahead and put up some tool path here, and I want to see which holes are related to this. I can right mouse button click and say select whole group. Now it does a couple of things. It shows me what group it's in. So if I go back into the manager, I can see it or I can just click it and it selects them all for me. Let me change the colors here to Gibbs color so we can see it a little bit better. Before I move on, I wanted to show you a couple new options in tooling. In drilling, right next to the drill, we have the letter and number callouts. This is, makes it so much easier. You're not gonna get a sore neck looking at the wall at the drill chart all day. You can just pick it right here. Another thing too is I'm gonna open up a lathe part here. Uh, what I want to show you is this goes for not just lathes, it goes for mills and everything too. Um, the example I have happens to be in a lathe is we have, um, you can combine different coolant. So you can have multiple coolant configurations, pull, you can see pulls through, flood. Um, if your post can handle it, um, we can do any combination there. Uh, let me shoot back to my milling part, to my die. Another cool little thing we added this release is on our view palette. We can now customize it. We can actually have different versions of this palette. So this is the one that's up all the time. We can have a version that 
activates when we hit the shift key. And we can use any of these commands inside of Gibbscam. You can see here that I have some already selected. I'm gonna go ahead and click OK. And now I'm gonna hold down the shift key and you can see as I hit the shift key, I get a, a bunch of different options. These are the ones that I have custom made. So one last thing I wanna cover before I close out here, I'm running out of time and there's tons of really great time-saving things here. Um, unfortunately, I only have time for a few. Um, again, reach out to your local reseller. They'll be more than happy to cover all of these for you. Uh, I wanna show some geometry creation. This stuff's really neat. I really like this uh, feature in Gibbscam 14. So now when we open the geometry palette, and let's say I wanna draw a circle, we now have this mouse circle. This allows us to drag and sketch a circle in any position on our screen and any size. This is really great. This is a really, really neat sketching tool. That also goes for all of these other um, shapes also. So we just do the little square. We can see that we can get a square. Um, if you combine this with our geometry expert, which everybody has access to, this has been in uh, Gibbscam forever also, we can just double click and we can set the size of this. So combining this functionality for basic shapes and with our features, creation, and surface modeling, you've got some really powerful tools at your fingertips to really speed up your machining and your design. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to reach out to your local reseller. Thank you.